Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I just finished filming this week makeup look and I'm excited to start filming again because right now in this video I'm going to do swatches and I'm going to try the new La Linda Halibut lipsticks and I got this package. Actually I bought them the same day when it launched but I was away for four or five weeks and they arrived before I came home. So I finally came home for two, three days ago and I want to film and try these lipsticks on for you guys. So if you want to see the full swatch or full swatches of the lipsticks, then please keep on watching. They are five shades in the collection and I have all five of them. You can hear my children playing in the next room. Uh, I have five shades and they are called fantastic fantastic multi-use lipstick with spf 50 moisturizing perfection for lips and cheeks i have called color ametrine pink opal goldstone bulls bullseye i hope i pronounced that right and Gar garnet kind of weird names for me but this is how the packaging looks like and we are going to swatch them. I'm going to remove the lip balm that I have or the lip, what do I have? Glass on the lips, I'm going to remove it. And we're going to swatch them. So you can use these lipsticks as the blushes too. Now I'm not going to do that today because I already have my makeup on but I can't wait. It was a bad idea putting this lip gloss up before I tried the lipsticks but anyway. Well, let's do this. So we're going to try from the lightest to the darkest shade first. So let's see, we're going to try this shade. This is pink opal. And it says, fantastic lipsticks will not only be the most comfortable and moisturizing lipstick you've ever tried on your lips, it can also give you fle uh, fresh blushing cheeks. Yes, it's multi-purpose lipstick for both lips and cheeks and it contains sunscreen to shield your lips and your skin from UV rays. Uh, rays. Fantastic lipsticks is of course dermatology tested. Use fantastic lipstick on top of your own crayons to moisten your lips and or to add the extra glow and some protection. So what I really like about these lipsticks or this packaging is that every lipstick has a message on it. This one, pink opal, says your damn goddess. I like that. So let's try it on. Yeah, it's 100% vegan too. Ooh, oh, I really like the packaging. This is the first time I see packaging. And this is the color of the lipstick down there too. It's so beautiful. If you can see it. It doesn't smell anything. This is surprising. I expected it to smell something or, or have a scent to it, but it doesn't. The only thing I kind of think is that it looks a little bit darker than on the packaging, but let's see how it's going to swatch. Uh, oh, it looks like a, a, it swatches like a balm. So it is buildable. I like the color. This is a beautiful nude color. It feels like a balm. It swatches like a balm. I hope it doesn't feel greasy on the lips. This is uh, when I build it up. So you do have to build this up, of course, if you're going to use it as a blush. Uh, so it doesn't have uh, the glitter in it. If you see any glitter on my lips, it's uh, from the gloss that I had before. Yeah, I know, I'm stupid. This is, okay, let's see, easy to apply, easy to build up, I love this color, but it feels like a balm on my lips, it doesn't feel heavy, I kind of like the feeling, I think this is not going to be drying on the lips, I'm kind of curious to see how long it's going to wear, but right now I'm really, really loving this color, this is perfect with the eye look, and I love this color. So this shade is pink opal. I 
this is very light on my lips. I kind of like the feel. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel too bomb it either. Uh, and this will blend beautifully as a blush. It's kind of sticky. It doesn't feel sticky on my lips, but it feels sticky on my hands. So I don't know if I will use it as a blush. Let me try it in a video in the future. But I really love this lipstick. How it feels right now. So let's see. The second shade we are going to try is uh, this. This is called Goldstone and it says the message here on the side it says your dynamite baby. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if I pronounce it right. I think this is so cute. A little message on every lipstick. It does it does make me feel special. So this lipstick looks like this in the packaging. Let's try not to destroy this package. Ooh love this packaging i love the package so let's swatch this one. Oh, this one is more like berry shade it does have like a very oh, no doesn't have any sense i don't feel it anything i thought i did but no let's try it on the lips I love the shade. I love that you can build it up. I thought that it would be hard for uh, the application because the lipstick is round, but it kind of works good. I love this lipstick. This is Goldstone. I haven't tried any other lipstick that feels this good on the lips as this one. I'm very surprised. I really didn't thought that I would like it, but I like it. Let's try another shade. So right now, I think we are going to try... I want to try the red one. So the red one is called Bull's, Bull, Bull's Eyes. Bull's Eyes. And it said, Break the Rules. Let's see how it's... Oh, let's watch it first. It's a red. It's a nice red. Kind of like a plummy red shade. I hope this doesn't bleed and gets everywhere because the red, it's kind of... A... Red is a sensitive color. So I'll probably use a lip line or something with this one. I'll rest it up. But I like this shade. Really like this shade. It suits me nice. Now we're going to take this shade. This is Ametrine or Ametrine. I'm not really sure how. But the message says, you're freaking awesome. Love this. Ooh, this is a nice deep color. Let's swatch it first. Let's see how it's going to look on me. looks nice. I can probably build it up to be more purple, but I won't because I like purple. It looks beautiful on other people, but I'm scared of wearing purple in the public. But this, I will definitely wear. I will definitely wear this lipstick. It's not too scary purple. Now, of course, you can build it up to be more colorful, but I like it. Like they're, that, they will really very easy to remove. Now we have the last shade, and it's called Garnet, 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 and it says you're the creator. I like that message, really. I think this is so cute that she put message on the packaging. It's very personal and special. Ooh, this looks nice. 
Flex Watch. Well, this looks a little bit streaky, maybe. I don't know. It looks nice. Plumbery shape. Let's see. Oh no. On the lips is beautiful. It's not even application, but guys, I really like this color. Very fall. It's very nice for the fall. I can see myself wearing wearing this. Now I did this draw. I didn't apply it very nice. So the application is bad, but the shade is beautiful. So guys, this that was all the swatches. Right now, I'm wearing uh, this lipstick, the the pink opal, together with this lip liner that I just bought, Essence Soft Contouring in shade Painting. Painting, I think it's called. And this is the lipstick and the lip liner next to it. So they are very very similar. I love this lipstick. This is the my this is my favorite shade all of all five i think also i like the second shade the gold stone the most nude i love all of the shades but i think the shade that i'm going to wear a lot is these two these two so i really really like them uh they're very similar but not so guys that was everything i hope you like this video please give a thumbs up if you did uh please let me know what shade you really really like or and do you want one of these in a future giveaway if you do, please let me know, put, that, put the color or the shade down below so I know which one I will order. And I hope you like this video, give a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you already haven't and see you in my next video. Bye!